Hey there guys, Zach here from Moonbeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 9860. This build was released earlier today and includes a number of new features and enhancements. So uh, let's just jump in shall we, the first new change and feature in this build is the inclusion of the notification centre. Now this notification centre has been available in internal builds of Windows 10 for quite some time now. However, it's now finally public and available for public use. It's pretty broken, I'll be honest with you. It doesn't exactly work and titles within there just don't show up properly. However, it's basic and does what it says on the tin. It houses your notifications. So if I had a pop-up come up from the Windows Explorer asking me what I want to do with my Windows phone that I just plugged in, it would be housed here. Now, another new change in this build is new animations when opening Windows. So if we open the File Explorer, as you can see, there was a brand new animation for opening and if we minimise a new animation for minimising and as well as opening the app from the taskbar and closing the app. They are very similar to the Mac OS X animations however they are unpolished in this build. I don't particularly like them in this build considering they are very unpolished so um, if you're using this as your primary driver be aware that these animations are a bit clunky and unfinished. Another new change in this build is that Mon UI apps now have a black title bar compared to the previous build which actually shared the same colour as your theme. So if we have a look at the, Win the standard Win32 applications, as you can see it's a blue border, however the Mon UI apps have a black border. It's unknown why Microsoft have done this change, I assume it's because there is we're missing a bigger picture in which the new UI will make this look a bit better however it does stand out quite strangely right now like i said as this is an early build it, bugs will be present and things like this are going to happen moving right along to the pc settings app uh, some things have changed here as well there are two new features available in this app data sense which is what you would expect it to be on windows phone and battery saver which again is like its windows phone counterpart both features allow you to monitor data or the battery as you can see if I wanted to put battery saver mode on I could do and it would if I was on a laptop uh, monitor what apps are used in the background and make sure my battery is saved. DataSense will monitor your data usage and will try and compress internet usage and try and make you use as little as data as possible which is very helpful for those who are on metered connections. Um, if we move into the uh, update and recovery area there is a new option in the preview builds tab now this allows you to um, jump on the latest builds quicker uh, most users by default will be on the slow um, preview builds uh, path which means we th those on the fast will test the builds first and then once they are more stable they will be pushed to those on the slow path however if you're an enthusiast like me and want all the latest bits as soon as possible you're going to want to use the fast path as once Microsoft is finished testing with internally they will push out an FBL release and you will get it straight away uh, it's uncertain how frequent Microsoft are going to be pushing builds out in the fast lane however I don't think it will be longer than two or three weeks maybe a month max between builds now another new interesting change in this build, or not change, there is a test app called ZPC Settings. Now for those who don't understand why the Z is there, with internal development builds of Windows, test apps or in development apps always have a Z at the beginning. Uh, clicking on this one will open another PC Settings app, however things are slightly different. As you can see on the left here, things are organised different and there are a few new changes uh, or new features available to, to select. Diving through all of these, it looks like the PC settings app is going to become a control panel replacement. Right now, not a lot of things work and many things, as you can see, are pre-release. As you can see, Windows Defender for great justice. Uh, the Windows team are known for being silly during private builds of Windows. Optional features doesn't exactly work. I can't install anything. Uh, battery savers here, storage sense, uh, speech, search, notifications, um, display, about and again optional features devices allows for yeah, the usual devices area however there's disk space and battery saver located here Personal personalization is um, where you would personalize your operating system have a themes background colors sounds don't exactly work right now lock screen and sync settings do 
Now another new change in this build is that Microsoft is now allowing you to adjust how long notifications are displayed for. So the default is 5 seconds, however you can make it last up to 5 minutes if you really want. That's actually quite handy, I would actually want them on 7 seconds because I think they disappear too quickly. Now in closed captioning there's a little preview up here from Halo forward unto dawn. Um, no idea why, it looks like you're able to select uh, captioning here, customise captioning. I don't know why you'd want that, I assume this is for um, video. However, I actually am unable to confirm that because I have no idea what this is for. Um, update and recovery, as you would expect, is kind of similar to what is available today. OEM doesn't actually work. Pending or deprecated actually works in some areas, you can see. It just looks like a bunch of settings that are available in other areas of the PC settings app all combined into one. There's also a new docking controller available in the start menu, however it doesn't actually work right now. You open it and it just crashes. No idea what the docking controller does. So there you have it guys, that looks like it for the Windows 10 technical preview build 9860. Stay subscribed here at WinBeta and make sure you check out winbeta.org for more on Windows 10. Thanks so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.